Ho, ho, ho! And Merry Christmas! Hey, it's Brady Theodore, and today I'm going to give you a little Christmas present. Does anybody know how to set up a green screen to have this behind you? Oh, and this is Bob. Anyway, uh, stick around for just one moment. I'm going to show you how to uh, work a green screen off of your Zoom program uh, combined with OBS uh, that you can uh, then shoot a live video on Facebook using the same programs. Anyway, hang on uh, one second. And while you're waiting, go below, touch that little button, uh, connect with me, uh, be notified when I come on again with some more tips and tricks for you guys. Now, let's get right to this. Uh, fabulous looking backdrop I have, isn't it? It's really not there. This is not my house. This is green screen technology on your uh, Zoom program. If you're using Zoom for your uh, video chats, your calls, uh, personal videos that you're uploading to YouTube, whatever you're using Zoom for, you can use Zoom with a green screen. And not a lot of people know this. Uh, I was taught by somebody else, and now I'm going to give you the little tip and trick. Uh, hey, Bob, let me reach down here one second. Hey, easy there. All you need to do uh, is get yourself a green screen. Now, you can get professional models. You can go anywhere from, oh, heck, 25 bucks on up to hundreds of dollars with lighting, uh, backdrops, hangers, hooks, everything that you need to be the professional green screen uh, studio person. You can even get a green screen suit so that you can then shoot yourself in any color motif that you want. Personally, I like to just use a, a simple backdrop picture, and I get my pictures from anywhere. I've got pictures of cows on a farm, uh, out in, in outer space, inside a nice cozy room at Christmas. You can use any picture. Download it from the internet, from Google. Uh, take pictures on your phone, download them. But I'm going to show you how to do this in the back office of Zoom. But the first thing you're going to need to get is an actual green screen. And because the green screen is green, I can't even show it to you here. Uh, and part of Bob doesn't even show up. You see his head? He's green on his head. So his head is invisible back here. Bob don't care. Uh, anyway, go to Amazon. I personally went to eBay, and I got a 10 by 10, 10 feet by 10 feet, sheet of green screen fabric. Uh, I think it was like $14 plus shipping. And here, now you can see my room backdrop behind me. Anyway, uh, I can't show you the green screen itself, but I'm going to show you right here. You see, because it's invisible. I can put my hand behind it. That's a piece of green material. Say, bye, Bob. <coughs> bye, Bob. <coughs> Bob don't care. Anyway, this is just green material. Hang it up behind you. And once you have that hung behind you wide enough, you need one more, uh, at least one light in front of you, which I've got in front. I'm just using a cheap little light that, uh, like 75 watt bulb is just pointing at me. So I have enough brightness in front, no shadows behind, and it lights up the room. And once you have that, then you go to your zoom settings and I'm gonna have to share my screen to do this I hope this all works out for you so let's see uh, share and share this is the front of my computer now if you go down here to your zoom tab and you guys will see this right here and I'm gonna put my glasses on but right there it says settings if you go to your settings you go over here where it says video Right there, you see my green screen, and down, let's see, video, oh, I'm sorry, go to virtual background, that video. Click on that, come on, click on over, change over for me. There it is, virtual background. Now you see these pictures I have here? You can just come over here and add an image, and it will go to your picture files. And you can, you can grab any picture that you think is uh, what you wanna be using. Heck, maybe you feel like, uh, Saluting. There, there's my salute picture from the military. 
and you can change these up, add them anytime you want. I've got one here that I really like. This is my ice castle. Bob freezes in this one, though. He doesn't like it too cold. He likes the warm tropics. Heck, Bob probably even liked this better, but I'm dressed a little warm. I'm dressed a little warm for the beach. I do have a beach picture here. Ooh, let's go sit on the beach. Let's do a live from the beach. Here we are, just kicking back, relaxing. A little, a little hot for flannels today. But anyway, that's all you have to do. You can add these. You can then remove the pictures if you like. But once you set that up in there and you've got your green screen behind you, it's loaded. And that's it. Now, that's Christmas time. I like my Christmas picture. Bob likes Christmas. We're going to leave it at Christmas and leave it set right there. Okay? That's how you set up a green screen using Zoom. Now, to use a live video, and I can't actually go through the whole process uh, running a Facebook Live because you cannot run a Zoom and share the screen uh, and do what I'm doing here. I Well, you can't because if I hooked it up to Facebook Live, it'll jumble the whole thing up. But I can show you how to get started. Go down and download OBS Studio. I just use the 32-bit encryption software. And once you come in here, I'm going to show you a neat little trick here to run live. You get all these window panes set up. Don't worry about that. This is the picture that's showing up right here. We're sharing. I'm sharing, so you're seeing the window panes. But then when you go to a live, what you need to do is go to File, go to Settings, go to Stream, and you've got right here what's called your Stream Key, and you can show this. It's right here. Now, if you go to Facebook and then you go to live video, you're going to set this up the same way in a moment. We're going to say live, and then here it is. You can put in your, uh, your title and your description over here. You're gonna share it, uh, just make sure you have this shared to your timeline. Make sure that it's set on public. Go to connect. When it has connect, you've got this down here and right here it says persistent stream key. You see this long list of numbers, ends with ZWM. You want to just click that and copy it. Go to your OBS and make sure that you paste it in here. You can see that mine is the same. So it's all set up, ready to go. You say OK. And you can say Start Streaming. Click. I'm not going to do it because it will jumble the whole thing up because I'm just doing a video showing you how to do this. Click Start Stream. Over here, this will highlight automatically as go live. You can then go live. When you go live, you then expand whatever picture that you're showing, which would have been this screen. And at that point, you are doing a live video with a green screen behind you. And it looks absolutely fantastic. You can change it up any way you want, any motif, any picture, do anything you want. Isn't that neat, Bob? Unbelievable. Anyway, that's my tip and trick today. And if you need a little more information on this, you can reach out to me at uh, Brady Theodore on Facebook. You can go below uh, and click that little bell. Follow me anytime you'd like. Uh, reach out to, to me through YouTube also doesn't matter. If you've got any questions about how to set up a green screen and using it on your uh, laptop, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to show you a couple more tips and tricks behind this. Anyway, for anybody that did request this info for, from me, here it is for you. Any questions, reach out to me. I'm here. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little tip because it's a lot of fun to do. Ain't that right, Bob? Uh-uh, uh-uh. <laughs>